Hey guys, how you doing? How's it going? If you're new here, my name is Savannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a speed build. I haven't done a speed build on my channel in forever. <laughs> I've been really wanting to build my real life apartment in The Sims, so I thought why not record it? I actually recorded it back in October, so you'll notice there's a lot of fall decorations <laughs> in the house, and that is the reason why. A lot of you guys know that I am home right now, so I am currently, while you're watching this, I am home, and right now I'm pre-filming all my videos, so... And this was already filmed, so I thought, why not edit it? and upload it while I'm gone. So yeah, if you guys are interested in watching me build my real life apartment, keep on watching. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah. I have loads of Sim con Sims content on my channel. I have like four Let's Plays going on right now. I do builds, I do cast challenges. So if you would like to subscribe, it would make me so happy if you would come and join the family. All right enough chit chat let's get into this speed build all right guys here is the basic layout of my apartment i made it into a house because when you build an apartment in the sims you're limited um limited to like what floor plan you can have so i just decided to make it a house but i do live in an apartment it is a two bedroom two bath apartment in southern california and I live on the second floor, so I have someone below me and I have someone above me. The person above me is so annoying. All they do is stomp around all day and drop things and run and drag furniture and it really drives me crazy. Like, it kind of makes me lose my mind a little bit. I've complained so many times, but nothing gets done. <laughs> Oh well, I don't want to complain too much in this video. I do love my apartment though. Um, it is brand new. Me and Carlos live together in it and we are the first people to ever live in it. So everything is like nice and clean and we don't have to worry about like anyone else's germs, which is really nice. And we've got a nice big kitchen with all kinds of storage, which was huge for me because both of us, we have a lot of stuff and we needed a place to put everything. So the storage was definitely a plus. Um, all of the counters and cabinets are the same color with the same countertops. They're like a dark espresso with like quartz, I think. It's just white with like little flecks of stuff. I don't even know, but I really like it. It's nice and white, the countertops, so um, they're really easy to clean. But the negative part about that is you can, it, they get dirty really easily. Like you can see everything on them. So yeah, uh, our wood flooring is this exact floor. I was surprised I was able to find something that was so similar. But yeah, and the walls are white. I love that, but at the same time, I hate it because again, you can see every little scuff, every little dirt fleck, every little thing. And we have a golden lab and he likes to shake after he goes on walks. So his dirty saliva flies everywhere when he does that and it gets all over the walls. And honestly, it drives me a little crazy, but it's fine. It's fine. That's what you get for having a dog. You just have a lot of mess to clean up a lot of the time, but it's totally worth it having a dog. And Simba is such a sweet boy, so it's really hard to stay mad at him. <laughs> All right, so this is the living room. The living room and the kitchen is just like one long room. And I like that. I love an open floor plan. This right here is the master bathroom. I know I jump all over the place in this build, but I was having such issues with the floor plan. Like I made stuff way too big, so I had to like keep making things smaller as you can see. But yeah, um, the master bathroom, it's connected to the master bedroom and you walk through the bathroom to get to the walk-in closet, which I really like. Cause when you get out of the shower, you can just go straight into the closet and get dressed. So that's really nice. And then, so like the layout, it's like you walk in, you'll see the kitchen, you'll see the living room, and then there's like the guest bedroom and bath on the left, and then there's the master bedroom and bath on the right. So it's like you're split between the common area, which I really like a lot. Um, 
it's comfortable when you have guests you don't have to hear what they're doing <laughs> and that is the main reason why i wanted a two bedroom was because um of guests like when my friends or family or when carlos's friends or family come and stay with us i want them to be comfortable i didn't want them to have to sleep on the couch and stuff so yeah we just use the other bedroom as a guest bedroom it's the bedroom that i'm in right now and um yeah, it's also my office <laughs> where I film all my videos and do all my homework and stuff. And it's really handy because this bedroom also has a walk-in closet, so it's like more storage, which is always good. These little rooms right here, we have like a small laundry room and we also have a small coat closet. Um, gosh, there's so much storage in this apartment and I'm so thankful for it because we have a place for everything and it's really, really nice. But yeah, um, and also each bedroom has a balcony. That's what you see on like the sides there. They're like, um, they're pretty big. Like we can fit a couch on one of them. And then on the other balcony, we have a table and some chairs. We used to be able to see the Disneyland fireworks from our balcony, but um, uh, the, there's a palm tree that's growing right in front of our balcony. So they used to have the palm fronds like tied up into a ponytail but they recently like took down the pon the ponytail thing so all the fronds are like out and blooming now and they completely block the fireworks <laughs> which is annoying but it's fine we can kind of see them if we like look around the palm tree but it's not really worth it to do that <laughs> Uh, yeah, right here I'm just f building my filming setup. This was really hard because I've got two monitors on my desk and I wasn't really sure how to build that, but I guess the media station works <laughs> well for that. I just added a TV onto it for a second monitor. And yeah, like the end tables in here are light blue. They're not white, but it's like I had to work with what The Sims gives, gives me. <laughs> not everything is exact. Like uh, our sofa is actually gray and it has a pretty large chase on one end. A chase is when it's like a, f like a footstool, like bed type of thing. Like one of the sides extends out really far. And I like it a lot because it's like the size of a twin bed. So that's like another bed for guests that come. And the couch is just so comfy. We love it. We're always sitting on the couch watching TV. Um, but yeah, and we, we don't have those little chairs either but I needed something to go in place of that giant chase that's normally there. Yeah, oh, there's my espresso machine that I use every single day. If you guys like good coffee, invest in an espresso machine. Like, I can't even believe how much it has changed <laughs> my coffee game. Like, um, back at my parents' house, um, they have a Keurig and the coffee's good, but if you're trying to make like cafe like coffee shop quality coffee then you definitely need an espresso machine for sure and a milk frother i'm obsessed with my milk frother <laughs> and i'm really satisfied with these shelves that's exactly how it looks in my kitchen it's like there's shelving in between two pieces of like cabinet which i really like we keep things like cookbooks up there we have some shot glasses <laughs> and we have those like big container like big mason jars we put like rice and sugar and other stuff in there. So yeah, I tried my hardest to make it look as similar as possible, but there are just some things that you can't build in The Sims, which is really unfortunate. And we do have these three pictures hanging above our couch. They're um, actually Disneyland attraction posters. We've got one for Fantasyland. We've got a Haunted Mansion one. And then we've got, what is the other one? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> I know that they're all did like those vintage attraction posters that they have hanging up like as soon as you walk into Disneyland. It's those. And we just ordered them off Etsy and we hung them above our couch and I'm obsessed with them. I kind of want to put them in bigger frames with mats, but that's super expensive. And yeah, the dining table does not match at all, <laughs> but it is round. So there's that. And then our master bedroom is like really plain. It, we just went with like a charcoal theme. We just have a rug and some towels and that's pretty much all we've got going on in there. Just because 
it's such a big bathroom that it gets dirty really quickly. There's a lot of dust and a lot of lint that accumulates and it's just, it's a, it's a mission to clean it. So I try to keep it minimal in there so that there's less to clean. <laughs> Onto the master bedroom here. I have a vanity in my in the bedroom. It's just a desk and it's got like, the legs are drawers and they're filled with my makeup. I have like my mirror on there and all that stuff. And then we have a TV hanging above so we can watch TV while we're um, laying in bed. Our bedroom is pretty simple as well. Um, we got all white sheets, all white bedding. I think it looks really clean. And then we have wooden um, end tables, which I like a lot. I like um, like wood with a bunch of greenery and like white and just like really um, clean and organic looking finishes. I'm a big fan. <laughs> and yeah, we do have an orange pillow on our bed, so I tried <laughs> my hardest to put an orange pillow on the bed and that is what I came up with. I wish I could show you guys like what it actually looks like. I want to do an actual apartment tour on my other channel um, but there are a few more things I want to add to the apartment before I do the tour so yeah just keep an eye out for that on my other channel. If you haven't subscribed over there yet I do like lifestyle videos, vlogs, I'm doing vlogmas right now, uh, and yeah, I'm just uh, editing the balcony right now, and that's it. Oh my god, that went so fast. Here are some screenshots. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much shorter than I expected, but thank you for listening to me ramble, and thank you for watching me build. And thank you for all the continued support that you guys give me on this channel and on my other channel. It's honestly so overwhelming in a good way. And I'm just really thankful for you guys. And I love you. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas break. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.